welcome to signal and system lecture series here in this session i'll be solving three different examples to calculate inverse fourier transform and here first question is find inverse fourier transform of x of omega that is 3 plus j omega divided by 1 plus j omega square so whenever you have this type of question first thing that should come in your mind that is to have a basic calculation of fourier transform by having e to the power minus at ut and that fourier transform that is 1 by a plus j omega and if you have this formula t to the power n e to the power minus at ut fourier transform then that is 1 divided by a plus j omega raised to n plus 1. So by having this type of Fourier transform standard signals, we can solve inverse Fourier transform of this category of questions. So let us solve this step by step. So see here we have been given with x of omega and that is 3 plus j omega divided by 1 plus j omega whole square. Now see what I can do is I will be actually adding 1 plus I can just bisect this in terms of 1 plus j omega plus some constant. So if I do that then you will be finding this will be see 1 plus j omega and 2 is actually there. So 1 plus 2 that is 3 so I can say plus 2 divided by 1 plus j omega square. So if you separate this two term then 1 plus j omega divided by 1 plus j omega square so that will be 1 divided by 1 plus j omega and plus this 2 into 1 divided by 1 plus j omega square. So now we have this ready made formula and this formulas could be easily applied to this and we can have inverse Fourier transform. So if we take inverse Fourier transform of this term, so take inverse Fourier transform. So see as per e to the power minus at ut, it is 1 by 1 plus a 1 by a plus j omega. So here for 1 by 1 plus j omega now this will be x of t and for this it will be e to the power minus t u of t and plus 2 is constant I am writing it here and now see this is 1 by 1 plus j omega square. So what it means here t to the power 1 is there so that this will be getting a plus j omega square. So here I am writing this t into e to the power minus t ut. So this Fourier transform that will be 1 by 1 plus j omega square for t signal is t e to the power minus t ut. So even you can further simplify this. So we can say this is 1 plus <coughs> 2t into e to the power minus t ut. So this is what inverse Fourier transform of given signal. Let us have few more questions. Now see we have question like find inverse Fourier transform of x of omega is equals to omega square plus 21 divided by omega square plus 9. So whenever you have function in terms of constant divided by omega square plus a square like I'll write that basic Fourier transform. See if you have e to the power minus a mode of t then Fourier transform of this basic signal that will be twice a divided by omega square plus a square. So we need our signal in this form so that we can solve this type of Fourier transform 
to have inverse Fourier transform right so here we will try to make that in this form so we have x of omega and that is omega square plus 21 divided by omega square plus 9 so if I write omega square plus 9 then 9 plus 12 that will be 21 so I need to write plus 12 here divided by omega square plus 9 so now if I bisect this then this will be 1 plus 12 divided by omega square plus 9 now see if I try to write this form in this form then I can say 3 square is 9 so 2 into 3 if I write this see 1 plus 2 into 3 divided by omega square plus 3 square then this is 12 so 6 into 2 that is 12 so that is how I can rewrite this form now I can compare this form with this basic signal and if I take inverse Fourier transform on both of the side so take inverse Fourier transform so you will be having x of t now and inverse Fourier transform of 1 that is impulse signal so I can say that is del of t plus 2 is constant into e to the power a if you see if you compare this with this then a is equals to 3 so here e to the power minus a mode of t that is what inverse Fourier transform of this type of signal so you can say minus 3 into mode of t so inverse Fourier transform of this given signal that is this So by having little adjustment we can easily solve this type of question. Let us have one more example. So this will give you little more clear idea. Like see here we have x of omega and that is 5 plus 2j omega divided by 1 plus sorry j omega square plus 5j omega plus 6. So all we can do is we can bisect this denominator into parts and then we can have partial fraction expansion and then we can apply basic rules which is readily available right so see let us solve this by partial fraction expansion so this is 5 plus 2j omega divided by see 6 that is actually 3 into 2 so 3 plus 2 that is 5 so we can say solution of this is 2 plus j omega and 3 plus j omega now if i apply partial fraction expansion to this basic equation then a divided by 2 plus j omega plus b divided by 3 plus j omega then I need to find value of a and b so before that if I take LCM then this will be 5 plus 2 j omega is equals to a into 3 plus j omega plus b into 2 plus j omega now to have value of a and b I need to consider j omega so if I consider j omega that equals to minus 2 then this term will get cancelled so now 5 plus 2 into minus 2 is equals to a into 3 minus 2 so this is 5 minus 4 that is 1 and this is a into 3 minus 2 that is 1 so we can say a is equals to 1 and to have value of b if i consider j omega is equals to minus 3 then this term will get cancelled so if I consider j omega is equals to minus 3 then 5 in plus 2 into minus 3 is equals to this term is 0 into b into 2 minus 3 
so this will be 5 minus 6 that is minus 1 and b into 2 minus 3 that is minus 1 so minus 1 minus minus 1 divided by minus 1 that is plus 1 so we can say b is equals to plus 1 so ultimately now we have x of omega that is 1 divided by 2 plus j omega plus 1 divided by 3 plus j omega now here we can apply very simple rule that is Fourier transform of e to the power minus a t u t that is 1 divided by a plus j omega so here we can say value of a is 2 and 3 for both of this case so we can take inverse Fourier transform here so take inverse Fourier transform so we can say now we have x of t that is e to the power minus 2 t u t plus e to the power minus 3 t u t and if I take u t common then this will be e to the power minus 2 t plus e to the power minus 3 t into u of t. So our answer is e to the power minus 2 t plus e to the power minus 3 t into u t and you can see this answer is available in any one of this. So this is our answer b. So I hope that by observing this calculation what I do here you can be able to calculate examples so you just need to do little practice and I'll provide these notes in my application. You can download it from there. Thank you so much for watching this video and you can give your valuable suggestion so that it will be helpful to those students, those who are studying here from my channel. Thank you so much.